when I was in Manhattan, I was in um, the one of the Spanish wards, which is like the way that Manhattan was set up, like towards the towards the bottom, like kind of in the center of the bottom is like where like all the activity is, where all the like cool things are, and then the farther north you get, um, kind of the next section to more towards the top is Harlem, which a lot of people have heard of and kind of has the same reputation as the Bronx kind of a thing. And then right above Harlem is um, an area called Washington Heights, which is where a lot of Dominican people are from the Dominican Republic. And and so one interesting thing, I didn't necessarily feel like it was very unsafe. It was just because it was such like a, like an immigrant heavy area. Um, you definitely felt like a minority being there. Like you definitely stood out when you were there. And and when you don't necessarily fit in, you feel unsafe at sometimes, just because you feel like everyone's looking at you. But um, like I, there was never any problems there. Like no one ever bothered us or. Um, and then we didn't ever hear anything bad about the areas either. It was just kind of like a bunch of people from the Dominican Republic, and of course there were some people like hoodlums or things like that that caused problems, but. It was never like a gang or like gang crazy like that. Um, and then in general, a lot of the Dominican people were very like friendly with each other. And it was almost like, like there was like little pockets of communities with them. So a lot of people like didn't necessarily know their neighbors, but they had like brothers or sisters that lived in the area or um, I were familiar with the people they went to the store with. And so they kind of had like their own little pocket of people that they knew and, um, but then there's also like kind of an air of like distrust, like people have a hard time like opening up to other people. I think just because the nature of coming from, probably coming from a country where they're not doing as well as they'd like or they need more money so they can send it back to their families. Or th and so people who come to the that area, a lot of the times the men work like one or two jobs just so that they can send money back to their, and not only is it just for the Dominican Republic, for just from other Spanish countries. Um, and so that was an interesting, that was an aspect to work with with the Spanish people in New York was that they just, a lot of them did have a lot of jobs and so that was hard for them to, uh, like kind of in comparison to the business people, they were working so hard but not because to succeed, they were just almost working to survive and so, and especially so that their family could. And so it was hard for them to sometimes to like take their focus off those things and to focus on the spiritual things when they felt like they had all this responsibility on them. I guess that's just like another aspect of it. Um, and then in the Bronx, that at that point I was put in an English ward. And that one, I mean, definitely at times I felt like this is a scary area, but I never felt unsafe as a missionary. Like, even though I would like walk into a building that um, just upon various um, reasons, just feeling like, I would never live here kind of a thing, but I just never, and even if I saw people that looked like they were up to something, like up to no good, just as a mission, I don't know why, I just felt like we, like I would never go back to those areas now and not as a missionary. <laughs> I'm sure it was just like extra protection and we needed to see those people or something. Um, but there were a few times when people on the street that you could tell like had seen their time of... Um, I don't know how to say it, criminal activity, I don't know, um, that would stop us and say like, oh, hey, like, I love you guys, like, you guys are spreading the word of God, like, I think that's great, uh, has anyone been bothering you, like, if anyone bothers you, just let me know, and we'll make sure they stop bothering you, we're like, okay, no, like, we're okay, like, <laughs> and so, and then someone even expressed to us one time that, you know, like, no one would ever think of, like, bothering you guys, because, like, we would rather, like, bo like cause problems with the cops than we would with a church person because then you're messing with God and we just don't want to do with that, so. And so it's just a very interesting, like, aspect that even though they, um, I don't know, the, the, that even though they didn't necessarily have, like, strong faith in God and weren't showing it very well, but they definitely recognized that we were, that we were doing a positive thing in their area and and trying to help people to believe in God, and that they respected it. Uh, so that was kind of cool to see.
there were a few the only problem major problems that we had were there was a few like teenagers just like trying to cause problems that lived like near the church building but it was never anything like very serious and nothing that we couldn't handle it was just but like where it's like feeling like extremely unsafe or like robbery and things like that it's pretty good cool. even though we knew that those that kind of activity was happening around us it was just kind of like we were like in a little bubble and we just kind of walked around and I don't know it was very cool <laughs>